if you can have an electric freight train that comes straight into the yard and is loaded or unloaded and then moves straight out, you obviously have large productivity benefits that speed up freight distribution around the UK. So this is our outdoor movable conductor bar and the idea is the conductor bar will be in this position, extended above the track and live at 25,000 volts. The train comes along under its own power with its pantograph up. Once the train's in the position it needs to be in for the depot work to be undertaken, the train can drop its pantograph. We can operate the control system to isolate the power. Then we push the button and retract the conductor bar out of the way. The real benefit is it's entirely electric trains in and out, no need for diesel. Tarmac is a, a keen supporter of rail freight. We move millions of tonnes of aggregates and cement each year. Pretty difficult technical challenge has always been seen as how we load and unload trains in terminals, particularly where we use equipment coming from overhead, like a grab, as we've seen today. What's key to the electrification of the network is electrifying that last mile, so that when we're actually coming into the rail freight terminals in which we operate, the electric engine that has taken the train across the trunk route is also able to bring the service right into the terminal. Moving goods by rail reduces CO2 emissions by up to 76% in comparison to road haulage. However, that's not the end journey. We're largely running with diesel engines because of the lack of electrification in the UK. So the electrification is necessary to actually enable us to reach net zero by 2050. When you electrify a freight line, you're decarbonising. Freight has huge CO2 benefits over road freight. So as a country, we need modal shift to freight. But electric rail freight is also more reliable. It's faster. You can move bigger loads than conventional diesel trains. And that has knock-on benefits for passengers. So if you have a faster, more reliable freight line, then you can actually fit more passenger trains on that line. Electrification brings many benefits. Um, a reduction in the weight of the trains, which gives less maintenance of the track, quicker and greener trains, and also faster. The ability to stop more often, the breaking distances of trains between stations means you could potentially put more services on. A train here simply comes in, lowers its pantograph, the electrification's moved out of the way, and then you unload or load a train and do the same thing in reverse. There's real speed and productivity. Almost every yard is, is unique and there's going to be different solutions to electrification, but I think for a substantial amount of depots in the UK, this system could really work. This is the first real installation in the UK in a freight yard. And if you think of modern passenger depots, you've got a clean, heated environment indoors, moving it to a freight yard where, for instance, like here in Wellingborough, you're unloading aggregates, it's dirty. Sometimes in winter, there's ice and snow. These are all really complex engineering challenges. We need the terminals electrified and the equipment that Fury and Frey have demonstrated here today allows us to do that in a safe, efficient and simple manner. We have a product here that enables us to offload a train safely under overheads, which is a really important thing for the future as we look towards a network that is more and more electrified.